Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, what did we do? We did a few things. That's all I know. The plan today is I don't care what the luck looks like. I'm going to the mines. I don't care. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the luau. Oh, that's right. The event will take place on the beach starting between 9 and 2 p.m. Don't be late. That's our first holiday of summer and... It's, oh, yep. It's it's just the determination that decided it. So not only do I want to do that, but we also need to go spaghetti. Remember to eat healthier. Won't have enough energy to work hard. Uh, this is a recipe for Lewis. So since we got enough hearts with him, he's uh, a little bit more friendly with us. Got some stuff from here. It's also Maru's birthday today. And if I remember right, we don't really have too many things for her. Our melons are hatched. Is, uh, Christ, our melons are up now. So unfortunately, I didn't save any strawberries for her. Alternatively, she does like cauliflower, but strawberries are easier to get in bulk. While we're having the going to the beach for the luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure to bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 a.m. 2 p.m. Cool. I uh, don't think I have anything f that she would love except for a certain something. I'm talking about Maru here. I'm just going to give her a gold bar. Gold bars are a loved item for her, and I think it's worth giving up one of these for, you know, a lot of friendship on this day. I'm also, you know what I'm going to do? What is it? I don't know how many it is for another furnace but I'm going to make another furnace 20 copper ore because I think we're starting to get into the point where it's going to be very nice for us I'm going to just move one of these casks just so everything can be next to each other and I'll put the cask here because I'm not going to use that charcoal kiln for a while and then we have melons nope they're still not ready okay they really do look like it well I'm going to water, and then we're going to go to Maru, and then we're going to go to the mines. We can also go ahead and do our chicken. Big egg, big egg. we got to save the big egg. Just our first one. We don't have to save them forever, but for big eggs are something that you do need for the animal bundle. If I can remember which it was. It's not in here. It's the crafts room. We got the... Hold on. Maybe it is the pantry. Oh, yep, there it is. Large eggs are for the animal bundle. This is the first thing we've gotten. And, of course, we're also waiting for a large egg from the white du uh, duck chicken as well. And then beyond that, it'll be things that we can get from other things. Summer crops. Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, that's good. We are amassing quite a few things that we're going to have to put into bundles soon. What's not? Yeah, this is all, like, bundle stuff. So I'm just going to slap it in there. Womp. I'm going to organize my inventory a little bit. guess I could make some copper ore. I need coal. Or do I want to make uh, copper bars? Because we don't have a ton of coal. I am planning on going to the... To go get some more coal, of course. But what until then? Take these broken glasses. I'm going to want as much refined quartz as I can get as well, and I'd like to not use my actual quartz or coal to get it. Yeah, you can put quartz in furnaces. How many? Yeah, I have 41 quartz. Well, maybe the quartz isn't a problem, but the coal is. You can put quartz in furnaces. That gives you refined quartz, and that's actually really important for the... Where are they? Oh, do I not have quality sprinklers yet? Huh. I guess my farming level has to go up. Anyway, I want to start working on that soon so that I can get the farming area on the bottom left of the farm going because that's the only place you can place sprinklers. I'd like to get that going sometime soon. I can place... Oh, wait, no. That's for Maru. <sighs> Honestly, so I'll leave one of the hot peppers for the bundles and then I'll take the other and I will sell it because money. I think otherwise I have everything I just about want. Maybe if I have some bombs? Yeah, I'll take bombs. Just so we can do as much as we can today. I have so much iron, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's looking good. 
And before we leave the farm, I did see that our maple syrup is ready. That's exciting. Nothing going on with the fish pond yet. Yeah, fish will duplicate as long as there's one in there. You don't have to have multiple. I believe we do have the honey, the bee house. It's wood, coal, iron bar, and maple syrup. We don't have the iron or the coal for it anyway. So if I see any opportunities to get coal while I'm mining, we'll do that. In the meantime, I'll just put the maple syrup, I guess, in here. I'm, I think I'm going to have to organize things a little bit more before we move on because, well, eventually I will, but maybe not now. Anyway, let's go find Maru. I uh, guess what I could do, hmm. Yeah, I want to find Maru before I start going into the mines because I'd like to get that over with and not have to worry about timing anything. But it's funny because this is the first time that we could go to the mines as soon as possible by using the mine carts, but I'd rather not do that yet. Yeah, Maru's birthday, Luau tomorrow. Then Alex is coming up. I'll have to see if I can scrounge out something for that. Because he's a, he's a tough cookie for me. I never seem to remember what exactly he needs. Of course, Maru's easy to find. She's usually out of out and about in her house on an early time. Maru's probably one of the easiest people to find loved items for. She Look at that. Four hearts easy. Are you enjoying the season? Sure am. She likes strawberries, cauliflower, batteries if you have them yet. What else? Gold and iridium ore. On along with other ore that we haven't seen up to this point. Hello, Lewis. To be wary of strangers. Most people don't like a wild man. Unless they're wild at the parties. Am I right? Anyway, so given the luau is tomorrow, I think I'll take this chance to talk about what the luau is going to entail while we're going through here and what exactly you can do to prepare for it. So let's get to it. I should be able to get... I think my goal is to get to floor 100 today. That would be pretty nice. Okay, well, that sucked. God! Well, that was really unlucky. Unfortunately, I just don't have a great weapon. I almost mistook you for a piece of exotic wood. Be a little bit more careful. So, now this is the first time we get to see the penalty of all that. Seems like I lost four items. Copper ore, solar essence. Oh! God, that's bad! Wow! Wow, literally the only things I cared about. They could have taken anything else and I wouldn't have minded. But yeah, now you can see that our energy is completely out. Our health is really low. So this shows you another thing that we can do here. Item recovery service. You can pay to get your stuff back. And honestly, I think it's kind of worth it here for the forest sword. Actually, hold on. Wait, what? Oh, you can only buy one thing back. Huh. Wow, that's pretty sad. Anyway, I think that's to say we need a better weapon. So what's this? Where, wait, what, where to go? What? Did I not buy it? Yeah, unless I want to buy something that's next to useless as a weapon. If we don't have more money, then we can't really do anything. Void essence are worth 50 each. Well, that's not good. Huh, luckily forging doesn't take anything. And I can just eat a few more salmon berries to get energy and health back, so that's not really that big of a deal either. But man, that kind of ruins my plans for a lot, at least. I guess we're not going to talk about anything. I really didn't get anything accomplished there. We only really... It's weird that there's something pink there. I'm just... Where is my... Where is the sword that I bought back? I bought back the wooden sword. Does it 
get sent to your house the next day, maybe? I've never really had to do that because, I'm going to be honest, I don't really die in the mines that often. It's been a really long time since that's happened to me, and I just ended up getting all of my buttons mixed up. I placed a bomb instead of eating salmon berries, and boom, I died. So, yeah, that's rough. Well, I guess in the interest of making today not completely pointless, I'm going to grab all the items that we need for bundles and see if we can't complete any, because I haven't really been keeping track of if we're able to, but it'll just be nice to offload a lot of those items now that I think about it. Yo, the Moonlight Jellies will be here soon. It's one of my favorite things about the valley. Sweet. And that's... That's rough. I mean, it's not like we completely wasted the day. At least we did get Maru one of her presents for her birthday, so. Uh, okay. Craft some wild seeds so we can sell those for some money. Again, just to try and make today a little bit fruitful. Uh, I'm out of room here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out. I guess we could try to take that. No, Gunther's gonna be closed by the time we get over there. I need to figure out how to throw away some of these items. I think you can sell sneakers and stuff to the Adventure Guild. Geodes need to be broke open. What, which of these could I sell? Not much of them. I'd like to keep a lot of these. Bug meat can go into the fishing, I guess, and that'll fix that problem. Yeah, like I said, I need to get things a bit more organized. Well... That is indeed unfortunate. Uh, that That's going to bother me for a while. The first good luck day, and then we immediately go into a floor that just absolutely destroyed us. Uh, puffer fish there. Don't know why it's one of the specialty fish, but it sure is. Uh, bulletin board. I believe I had a few here. That's done until later. Pomegranate can go here. I got two pomegranates. I think they could be used in two different spots. Oak resin, that's done for now. That's also done for now. Oh yeah, maple syrup could go here, that's right. Well, it needs to go there. Poppy, that's it. That was the chef's bundle, and then... Yeah, I forgot to keep the sunflower, but we have another growing, so it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. That's it for there, that's just money. Boiler room's done. Rest ought to be over here. Artisan bundle. So we can use cloth. I think I remember cloth being useful somewhere else, though. I uh, guess I'll use the non-starred apricot if I'm going to do anything. Jelly. Wow, we could finish this off right now, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. We can get cloth easily, easily enough. Keg! Yeah, yeah, that was worth it. Summer crops, we got the hot pepper. That's all that's come out yet. But soon we'll be, we should be getting a lot more. Then animal bundle, we've got the large egg. Where could the pine tar go? I believe the pine tar could go... Oh boy. Yeah, move out of the way. I believe the pine tar can go down here in the exotic foraging. Yes. And then these two will be easy enough to get later, so we'll be able to complete that pretty simply. Summer forging's already done. Yeah, that's a good amount of work done. The rest of these aren't really on too much of a time crunch, so we should be able to do whatever we... I mean, obviously, other than the crops, but we should be able to do generally whatever we want. And I think to finish off my day here, I'm gonna do a bit of fishing, because we need money. As always, hello, Marnie. Can feed it, use a scythe to cut feed from grass. Yes, yes, I'm glad to know this. Worms. Another trilobite. That's like our third one now. I should say there is actually something that I'm specifically trying to catch here at nighttime in the ocean during the summer. So I'd like to see one of those if I can. It's pretty hard to catch, but still. Oh! Oh! What? Really? Uh... Okay. So... This fish sprite is different. Hold on, it's hard to think while I'm trying to do this. I'm catching it. I'm catching it if it's the last thing I do. That'll make this day worth it. 
Look at that. Well, I just accidentally caught one of the legendary fish. That really wasn't what I was going for. I was going for something called a super cucumber. Lives in deep in the ocean, but likes to lay its eggs in the warm summer water. Yeah, so you can only catch... Wow, and I got a gold one, too. That's not bad at all. Uh, ooh. I mean, it's not like it matters because I'm not selling it. I'm keeping that for display, we'll call it. But, yeah. Number caught, one. And it'll always only be one. And you can see how much it's worth. Fifth. 1500 and we got a gold one which is like what is that 1.7 times so that would be like a 2000 on its own i believe you need to be at least level five to catch it it's probably the easiest legendary fish to catch in the game it's intended to be your first because in spring you really aren't gonna get to that point unless you really know what you're doing so just so you know Oh well. I think that thing that I found at the very end there was what I wanted to catch, but that's fine. Well, while we're walking home here, I know I cut it pretty close on the time. I probably could have kept going until like 11.30 to be honest though. While we're here and we have this time to speak, let's talk about legendary fish. So there's one per season and then there's one extra one that can be found not above ground, so it doesn't matter what season it is. And they're intended to be some of the hardest kit fat kitsch fish to catch. Now, I believe the crimson fish is the easiest by far. In fact, some normal fish are a little bit harder to catch than it, like octopus. And the one I was looking for, super cucumber, is a bit harder as well. So normally you'd want to be like level 10 and then also have a beneficial iridium rod bobber. But we don't even have the iridium rod at this point. Yeah, that's going right in here. I'll figure out something to do with it later. But we also got two types of halibut. So not a bad amount. Uh, I'll put the apricots in a keg, because those could be worth a bit of money. Coral, mussel, seaweed, who cares? I'm going to put blackberries in here. I know it's getting late. Let me do my thing. You go in there. I, I'm just going to sell the trilobite. We've already done something with that. And I'm going to put you in here you in here and then we're also going to place the keg down which i'm not going to use yet that's actually best used for extremely expensive stuff but we'll get to that later i'm i'm happy i'm fairly certain that we're going to get our sword in the mail tomorrow so we'll be able to do that i guess i got an achievement maybe i made enough money for an achievement i did make quite a bit despite how much of a failure that day really was yeah i just toss the fiber and what I found. They're really not worth throwing in, but yeah, what are you going to do? It must have been making a certain amount of money. Because I can't imagine... I mean, unless it was for catching the legendary fish. Yeah, it was for making money. Cool, sweet. Well, today's the luau, so it doesn't really matter much. Sunny tomorrow. Displeased, which doesn't matter. Welcome to Living Off the Land. Starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells and corals are expected to wash up on beaches all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I've heard it's something to do with crab mating season. At any rate, you could make some good coin combing your local beach. Yep, for the next few days, there's going to be an increased rate of stuff washing up on the beach, so you can keep an eye out on those. Uh, melons still aren't done. I'm going to go ahead and water everything while we get ready. And if my math is correct, these melons ought to be coming out tomorrow, and then the starfruit will be coming out the day after that. Found your last item. Yeah. I get it. It's recovery because they have to go in, and they don't actually find it ahead of time. I understand now. It didn't make sense at the moment, but now I get it. I should start watering you, because that'll be important. But, yeah. And now we got a big white egg. So how about that? Of course, I don't think it changes the quality of the mayonnaise at all, so it really doesn't matter how good the egg itself is, but we'll have to keep that for the animal bundle as well. They happen right, right around the same time as each other. I can sell the rest of the salmon berry jelly. It's not really loved by anyone. Even people who love salmon berries, they don't love or like salmon berries. So for instance, Harvey likes salmon berries. He hates salmon berry jam, jam, and don't ask me why. Any more stuff from the trees? 
Oh, there's some more pine tar down here. Go ahead and grab that. Still nothing from the sturgeon fish farm. So we don't have to worry about that. Well, the luau is today. And unfortunately, I didn't have much of a chance to talk about the luau yesterday. I will go into depth whenever I can, hopefully tomorrow. But as for now, I'm just going to be taking this gold star sturgeon. There's a few items that like, I could bring the crimson fish as well. It's a combination of how much energy they give you when you eat them, how expensive they are. And I think that's it. There might be another uh, thing that it is based on, but you're going to want to bring the item that does both of those the best. Oftentimes the most expensive and... I just realized I don't have my axe. It's going to be back tomorrow. Often the most expensive, hard to get items are going to be the best. I don't really have too much that I want to do before we go to the luau. We're going to have to head over to the... Why is this still here? Also, sea urchin. Hey, I wonder if the beach farm is going to get increased amounts of stuff washing up on shore as well. That'll be interesting to watch. Anyway, I don't really have too much I want to do before we go to the beach, so... I'm gonna... Well, how about that? Make up for the cherry bombs that I wasted yesterday. How about we just head on over? So, I guess since we did get our sword back, I'm gonna try and take another adventure into the mines tomorrow? Just to make up for whatever all that was. I'll also have my axe back, so I'll be able to get some work done on the farm to clean that up and stuff, so... Get excited. Of course, since it takes place on the beach, it doesn't activate until you go to the beach. And when we get out of it, it will automatically be 10 p.m. Did I ever read these uh, graves? Because you can. It's old and faded. Our beloved Mona. Hmm. Can't read that. Interesting. Let's just head on over. I have nothing else to do. Shops are closed, so don't even think about going to them. What's poppin'? We have another shop. I think I have a good amount of money, right? 3,200? What do y'all got here? Huh, not really anything I care about, but a lot of fun little decor items for your house. Nothing required for anything. Look sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. I'm sure it is. Look at Erica, or Emily. Jeez, just getting down. She's unresponsive, <laughs> which is not something you say when someone's like awake. Vincent isn't a good dancer. I'm bored. Ow, you stepped on my foot, dear. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? Yeesh. I love these because you really get a good idea for everyone's personalities. Wow, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. Yeah, you're welcome for those. One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies into the potluck soup. Oh yeah, the idea is everyone in town adds things to the potluck, but apparently what you put in has the most effect. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Yeesh. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Yeah. Bet these things get busy. I'm full, but what else is there to do besides the dance? Watch the ocean. I hope the soup is good this year. I'll, uh, I'll decide that. If I put fresh vegetables from my garden in the communal soup pot, Speaking of which, let's go ahead and pop it in, why don't we? Salmon berries won't do you very well at all. Sturgeon. I believe some of the worst stuff you can put in is stuff that just actively takes away from your energy. I believe the red mushrooms do that. Things like that. Sap you can eat, <laughs> so that can lower your energy as well. Heh, <laughs> free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. I woke up late, stepped out of the door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. Yeah, I bet that's fun. How's the farming coming along? It must be a busy season for you. Uh, hopefully I make it more busy later. We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. The governor? Who cares? I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. I believe we've talked to- oh no, we still have to talk to everyone down here. Good thing I came with sunscreen. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good, slurp. 
A slow, continuous rotation is the key to achieving the perfect roast. I like that he also participates, even though, you know, he chooses to live in a tent outside of town. I haven't talked to Marnie yet. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Yep. Uh, can I talk to Pierre? Probably, right? It's not just selling stuff. Hmm. Maybe if I get on the governor's good side, he'll give my business a tax break. I wonder if he likes aged whiskey. I'm not sure that's the way to go about it, but hey. Should we move forward with the luau? The governor seems a little hungry. Let's get to it. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor, governor to regret his visit to the valley. Well, Governor, would you do the honor of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. <laughs> nice. Oh my, that's the best soup I've ever tasted. This is the best outcome, by the way. Gold sturgeon is a good thing to put in. You're right, it's delicious. Wonderful job, everyone. Now, who else wants a taste? The governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Time to head home. So basically the way that works is you get a certain amount of friendship with every single townsperson, depending on how good the item that you put in is. And I put in something that happens to be the best result. There's not a ton of things that can give you that, but mostly what you'll be trying to focus on is an item that sells for a lot and also gives you a lot of energy. And for the most part, that's going to be very expensive crops like cauliflower will work. Melons, unfortunately, won't because you won't get them before now. They will for year two if you keep them around, but otherwise, no. Uh, cauliflower is basically one of the only ones you're going to have at this point. I'm going to go ahead and sell all these other stuffs. Keep the rest. So yeah, if you uh, make sure that your item are, is... High quality, it should be decent at the least, but there's a couple of different re uh, requirements there. What's that item I have? Cherry bombs? I'll keep it since I plan on going to the mines again today. So I believe with the best result, you get at least one heart with every single person. Look at that, except Willie George and the wizard. Well, yeah, the wizard was off screen, but hey. I think the wizard was actually at the bottom of the docks and I forgot to go down there. That's my bad. But yeah, you can see that talking to them actually counted today. Wait, was Gus and Evelyn just not there? Or maybe they were like somewhere else. I just forgot to talk to Gus and Evelyn, huh? Oops, my bad. That's right, George was in the corner with Evelyn. Oh, I just did that. Well, you hate to see it. But yeah, you can see how much of an effect it has. Everyone's at least a heart now. Many, many people are two hearts or more. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing a lot of cutscenes for everyone. Anyway, since that was a quick holiday day, I think I'll do a third day here. A decent day for money. Wow, those are only worth five. Jeez, not worth the time there. <laughs> They're germinating. All right, what's today looking like? My steel axe is ready too. It makes today a busy day. Storm is approaching thunder! Yay! I'm excited for that. And today's neutral. That's good. That's fine. I can live with that. And we got even more mail. How are you doing? I've enclosed... Sashimi. This is good. This is good because all the, all the ingredients cost is fish. Also, let's not cut down our trees here. Our tomatoes are up. Our peppers are up, hops are up, and I just destroyed one of, ugh. I thought they were ready. I'm really bad at that, aren't I? Well, that did us a few favors. Did our get farming level go up? It did not. Well, that's fine. 
And one of our mahogany trees finally grew. Good lord, that took forever. Wait, what else do we have here? Let's say thanks for taking interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe that I like. Fried mushrooms from Demetrius. Yeah, we got a, quite a few recipes there. That's nice. So hops are a fun one. We're going to be keeping those for later. Tomato, huh? We're going to need that for the bundles, so we'll keep that around. Hops we don't need for the bundles, but I'm still keeping it around. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take that hops right now, and I'm actually going to put it into the keg. Specifically hops. And kegs take a long, long time, so don't expect to see that for a while. Hot peppers I can put away as well. Yeah, I can grab one just in case we see anyone. It'll be a lot more, a lot easier to see Sebastian around now that we have two hearts with him, so I could bring that as well. Bring the glass shards for Gunther. I'm going to bring the bomb and the cherry bombs that we have. Because I think that'll just be useful. Did we have any trash? Must have gotten rid of it on accident. Please no. I need to start having good things equipped. Also, I think a good idea would be to put the salmon berries next to my other three so that I don't get that mixed up anymore. Why? Ugh, my chickens are so far away. Look at them. I need to make sure that some grass grows nearby because they're going to keep walking all the way down here to get to the grass every time. And then after I get grass growing near up here, I'll start putting a fence around their little thing. Two small eggs today. Oh, did I forget to pet them yesterday or something? I don't think I did. Unfortunate. Gold star mayonnaise. You love to see it. Well, cool. With all of that done, let's get started. So obviously I still need to go to the mines. There's no event happening today, so we don't have to worry about any of that. I need to go get my axe, and I think we ought to be all good after that. I think the day after this I'll spend clearing stuff with the steel axe because I don't feel too pressured to do it now. Of course, we could just take the minecart all the way here and make it a lot easier of a trip. Take all these. I just need more grapes, dude. I have so many sweet peas and what's the other one? Summer berries or whatever. Spice berries. Steel axe. You love to see it. Yeah, so now we have the gold axe for 10,000, which we really don't need to do for a long time until we're really hurting for, for wood, I suppose. But yeah, all the gold upgrades, I'd say, are optional for a while. Here, take some glass, dude. Since you want to act abrasive. Cool. And now with that done, I'm just going to take the minecart to the mines and we're going to <laughs> give another good attempt. And I guess I can put away the stuff I'm not going to need in here. <sighs> I'm going to move the cherry bomb there as well. Let's not mess up this time, why don't we? And maybe now I can explain the luau properly. Well, before we start talking about the luau, I would like to officially welcome you all to the lava zone, the last biome of the mines, and luckily for me, in editing, all of the rest of this is basically identical. Same enemies, same items, you just have your basic increasing chance for diamonds the lower you go in, and that's all that's different. However, for the lava zone, you can now find gold ore, which is the biggest draw of course, you can find magma geodes, which along with giving you a bunch of different artifacts for the library, give you a 5% chance, not insignificant, to find iridium ore in them, which is really good this early on. You can also start finding emeralds, fire quartz, and rubies, fire quartz being required for one of the bundles in the boiler room. And for enemies, you have Red Sludge, Lava Bat, Lava Crabs, Shadow Brutes, Shadow Shaman, Metalheads, and Squid Kids. There's a few interesting ones here, the most interesting being the Shadow Shaman, which can heal other enemies, and the Squid Kid, which only has one HP but shoots a fireball projectile at you, the only enemy in the entire dungeon that throws projectiles. But it can be hard to live here. Everything has a lot more HP and a lot more damage, so... I beg you, be careful if we didn't see that a few days ago. So moving on to the Luau, the way it works is you're going to put one item into the potluck and based on the item's sell price, edibility, which gives the healing effect, and the item quality, 
you will get one of six different responses. For the first worst response, the item will be something that hurts you when you eat it. Examples of this are red mushrooms, sap, and pufferfish, and this will make you lose a hundred friendship with every single villager. Next up on the bad response, we have items that don't really heal you for much at all, and also don't sell for much. So examples of this would be salmon berries, unmilled rice, or carp. This will make you lose 50 friendship with everyone. For neutral, we have some of the crops that either you get in a very large bulk or are just not very expensive. So things like this would be blueberries, parsnips, common mushrooms, or salmon, all at normal quality. And this will make you gain zero friendship with anyone, but you won't lose any either. For the good response, this is where most items are. Anything that you would normally sell for a good amount, a lot of artisan things fall in this area, some of the better crops fall in this area, so look at cheese, coffee, strawberries, or any juice or row that you have. This will make you gain 60 friendship with every single villager. For their best response, it is extremely tight on this first year to get an item that's good. Normal quality items are not an option, and it's unlikely that you have anything accepted at silver quality, unless you've gotten a hold of wines through the traveling cart or a very early keg. At gold and iridium quality, which are interchangeable for our purposes here, the easiest ones to get are beer, pale ales, sturgeon, and super cucumbers. Anything else you're very unlikely to have on year one. You will gain 120 friendship with every single villager with one of these items. If you put in nothing, you'll get a unique something is missing dialogue with no friendship change, and also you can put in Lewis's shorts for a fun little cutscene, but you'll also forego any friendship gain. But you won't lose any with Lewis, oddly enough. Ooh, I just realized I'm gonna do something here and we're gonna call it a day. I'm just gonna make a staircase, because I don't want to deal with this floor, and that allows you to just make a staircase and go. Yeah, that was an infestation floor. We haven't seen it before, and God bless, I needed it. That should make going through all of this a lot easier. Yeah, the swing speed is a little bit slower, but like 8 to 18 damage, 30 to 45, plus 1 defense, plus 10 crit power. I think it's pretty obvious which one's more worth it. Um, You know what? I will go a little bit deeper. I'll, I'll see if we can get anything crazy here. Ah, uh, this is a pretty useless looking floor. But let's just like compare damage. That took like five hits as opposed to like 50. <laughs> That's a lot nicer. I enjoy that. Now for items, who boy, I do have a full set of items. I'm just gonna leave stone here. I don't really need it. But we got some magma geodes, which should give us a lot of new stuff for the library. Got plenty of gold, unfortunately, only 10 coal. That should be enough just for, you know, getting the gold turned into bars because that's my main worry for the most part. Tell me a story about farming. I, okay. That's really interesting. Yep. I definitely told you a crazy good story. Now, before we go home, hopefully Sebastian's in his room. Probably not since it's so late. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I was taking the the frozen tier just in case. But yeah, if you want a lot more coal, just head back to like floor, what is it, like 60 or so, where there's a ton of those little dust sprites. They drop coal all the time. I think I'm gonna take a little trip into the saloon just to see what's popping. There is a thing. I should have checked this earlier, but hey. Feeling gloomy. Wheat might cheer me up. Wouldn't it always for all of us a universal feeling? Yeah, what up? Somehow the old town minecart system system started working again It's very convenient for getting to and from the mines. Don't get too cozy though If you could start up suddenly you could just as well shut down. Well, it wasn't Suddenly was it? I think you like fire quartz. It's a fun gift. Thanks. Ah sweet. Well, there you go Fire quartz doesn't have too many uses outside of just The bundle that we use it in this has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. I mean, yeah, look at the place. Yeesh. Oh, yeah, it's Friday. Oh, I missed the traveling cart. If I wasn't so busy, I'd come and help you on the farm. Man, that's unfortunate. Hey, you like Jade, don't you? 
This gift is fabulous. There you go. Easy as that. Uh, is there anything else I could... Shane's probably in here somewhere. Not Shane. Uh, Sebastian. I know a few people like quartz, but I'm not willing to risk my life on it, <laughs> to be honest. Funnily enough, I don't have the hot pepper. Give me another pint of the strongest. Rob, you look puzzled. Guess the hot summer air could just make us a little dizzy. Yeah, my HP is really low. Sometimes they have things for that. You can use a tapper to harvest syrups and other liquids useful straight from trees. Yeah. That can happen. Shane, my boy. Yeah, here he is. Cool. Perfect. Frozen tier for you. Really love this. How'd you know? Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. Smart boy. I can get a Joja Cola for 75. Because why not? I'm feeling generous. It's so cheap. Start working on everyone's friendship a bit more. Wish I had a cat. Unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much everything. Like, socials are starting to look pretty dang good. I think we're in a better spot than most people. But we've also done a lot less farming, partly due to the fact that we are on a beach farm. So that do that is naturally harder, you know. Anyway, that was a little lively set. Unfortunately, the wizard isn't there because we could have given him some of these, which is a loved item for him. I'm assuming for studying, but hey, whatever. All right, well, I'm going to do a little bit of inventory management. Get all of those going. That's going to be really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to free up my inventory and I'll see you when I'm done to end off the day. Cool. Well, that'll do it. I did keep the Obsidian Edge in here, of course, and Magma Geodes and Geodes, because I guess we might as well take a trip to Clint's tomorrow just to open up all those Geodes. We have a lot of stuff to do. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hold on. Crafting. Lightning Rod. We have an Iron Bar, Refined Quartz, and Bat Wings. I believe we have all of these. I should make these before the night ends. I'm glad I remembered. So, bat wings got plenty of those. Iron bars, refined quartz. Good thing I got those two refined quartz. Really on accident more than anything. And I'm going to set these up right there. There. I guess they have to be two spots apart or something. I don't know. Put the rest away. Beautiful. You're going to see what that's for. Soon. Anyway, with that, I'll see you all here tomorrow. Have fun with our new axe and... Get a lot of harvest, so we hopefully can get a lot of stuff going. I'll see you all then, and good night.